We're talking about suicide, we all know it is difficult and it is a tough topic plaguing millions of people. It's increasingly even more concerning in children and even young adults. Joining us this morning via Zoom is Dr. James Polo, a child psychiatrist with Carillon Behavioral Health. And Dr. Polo, thanks so much for joining us this morning, especially uh, this month talking about this topic even today, which is World Suicide Prevention Day. Uh, starting off first with you, why is it important to focus on mental health in children and young adults? So it's really important to focus on mental health for all people, but especially in children. Children are, are early in their lives developing. They're learning how to understand their own emotions. They're learning how to understand their behavior. And when they struggle emotionally, we tend to see that in their emotions and behavior. So helping them during that early process is what helps build resilience over time. And what is the first step for families? I mean, so many people at home probably watching at this hour, they're probably wondering how to get their loved ones help. For people who are struggling with mental health issues, what is the first step for them? Yeah, one of the first steps for parents is, first of all, just listen to your kids. Talk with them, but focus on listening. What are they telling you that they're struggling with? What are they telling you that they might have questions about? And giving them honest answers and, re and, and essentially reassuring them, encouraging them that they're okay. When parents feel like the kids really are struggling beyond that, then it's time to actually think about getting some help. And generally, I recommend starting first with just your pediatrician or just with your family doc and explaining what's going on and getting some help. Yeah, those first conversations really could be life-saving for so many people. When it comes to benefits, what are the benefits of suicide, suicide prevention programs? And how does someone know if these programs are the right programs for them? Yeah. So first of all, one of the benefits of just focusing on mental health for young kids is that early on it helps them develop. It helps them have good relationships with not only their friends, but with adults. It helps build resilience. It gives them improved confidence so that they can perform better, whether it's in athletics, whether it's in academics, and it allows them to, to, to grow and thrive. And ultimately, as adults, it helps decrease stigma. Um, now, for young kids, one of the the things that you need to do if you're if you're concerned about kids is you need to bring that to somebody's attention rapidly for kids in school making sure that you're connected with teachers school counselors as i said before pediatricians family docs to really make sure that kids are getting their needs met all right i feel like it was uh, once a taboo topic but so many people really bringing this to the forefront so it's so good to have you on dr polo to talk about this thank you so much